Hello guys, welcome back to another different tier 2 video. Today I'm gonna to be showcasing you my Supreme Endgame level 50 pistol build. So let's get it. Alright, as always, we're gonna go through skills and items. So first we're gonna go through the skills. The skills we have is Spinter 5, Pistol Expert 5, Headhunter 5, Marksman 5, Quickshot 5, Reloading 5, Hunter 5, Looter 5, Toughness 5, Big Reflexes 5, Armor 5, and Exterminator 5. So I'm going to explain you why each of these skills. I'm a sprinter, I prefer sprint. It's completely up to you. You can even combine sprint with the jogger, or you can just have a jog or just sprint. It's completely optional, completely up to you, but I prefer to be a sprinter because it's faster. I prefer to be fast, very simple. The next thing is Pistol Expert because we're using pistols, so you definitely want to have this skill. And under 5, the headshot damage, which is very important on pistols and in general pistol builds or any gun builds, I highly advise you to have it. Marksman 5 for that uh, maximum accuracy and minimum accuracy, which you really don't need if you have a proper build, like proper items and such. You can go without Marksman 5, but I have it in my build. It's completely up to you. If you have items that I'm going to explain you later, what items you, you need to have. You don't need to have a Marksman 5. You can go without it. Just Pistol Expert is fine. Quickshot 5 for that attack speed, which is really, really important for our DPS. Reloading 5 for that ammo capacity and reload speed, which helps us a ton. I highly advise you to get so. Hunter 5 for that damage versus mutated, which is damage against bosses. Helps you a lot. Highly advise you to have it, especially if you're hunting bosses. So this is a must. If you're hunting bosses, definitely do it. Hunter 5 for that search speed and find unique and elite, which helps quite a lot with search time. So it's 50% out of... Uh, three seconds it gets it all the way down to two seconds so it takes me two seconds to loot a boss or any loot spot which is a big big help so i advise you to get it so you'll have you'll have easier and faster time while you bossing uh going through the loot and such toughness five for that hp which is really important because the enemies deal a lot of damage which makes us quite tankier so i highly advise you to get it because some enemies will really deal a lot of damage or they might one shot you if you do not have enough incoming damage and health Quick reflexes 5 for dash dodge cooldown and incoming stun recovery. It's really optional, you don't have to do it, but I highly advise you to have it in the build because that incoming stun recovery helps you so much. Like that 75, when the enemy is gonna hit us, example, sighted kid, they can hit quite fast and you're gonna recover much faster with the quick reflexes. So sometimes you'll die if you do not have in, uh, enough incoming stun recovery, but this thing helps. And also, dodge cooldown gives us a space to make a mistake. Same with incoming stun recovery pardon me so we have uh, room for a mistake sometimes we might have a bad day not play perfectly you can make mistakes so you're not gonna die you're gonna survive because of this skill armor 5 because i'm using armors i highly advise you to use armors if you have uh, armor or you can go leather jacket with very high income damage completely up to you but i prefer armors because it gives me more survivability higher chance of surviving and also room for the mistakes which you do not have much if you are just using a uh, example a normal leather jacket with just incoming damage hp and such exterminator 5 you really don't have to do that um i mean exterminator 5 gives you damage versus infected which is damage against zombies which helps but you really don't have to get that you can go for the um in for the heart if you want i have this because uh, i might be looting commerce and such which helps me a ton but as I said, you can go for aim for the heart. So the skills that are optional in this build would be Exterminator 5, Quick Reflexes 5, and what else? Marksman 5. Those are optional. Completely up to you. You don't have to get them or you can. So that's for the skills. Now let's move on to the items. Uh, so let's go first to our weapon. The weapon we're using is um, the event pistol that you can craft during this event, Easter event. It's called uh, Two-Headed Devourer. As you can see, it has really, really good stats. XP, movement speed, headshot, uh, attack speed, damage is mutated, and incoming damage. So those are really, really insane stats. And the stats you want to have on your pistol is like headshot, mutated, attack speed, ammo capacity, body damage. Any of these help. But what we have here is really, really awesome. So if you can craft this one or buy it, if you can buy it off the market, I highly advise you to get it because it's a very, very good weapon. Second, I'd say second best pistol, maybe... It's one of, in top three, definitely pistols in the game, if not top two in the game, because uh, Ronin Blade is the number one currently. But I highly advise you to get this pistol. We're using Scarecrow's Cross for damage versus mutated, 
high damage resist meter which helps us with killing bosses but we're trading that for not incoming damage so we take a little more damage if we get hit but that 64 mutated and movement speed helps a ton so those are the important stats also damage versus infected helps quite a lot and also rng gods might bless us with some find uh with some uniques because we have that fine unique chance so the stats you want to have on a pistol headshot mutated attack speed ammo capacity anything extra whatever or body damage damage versus infected so mobility stats health incoming damage any of these here damage versus mutated mobility stats incoming damage hp and mobility sets and such that helps a lot so the helmet we're using as you can see it has these stats uh, i'm using this helmet because it has high ammo capacity uh, I, you don't really need maximum accuracy on the pistols so have that in mind what you want to go uh, for here is like headshot mutated attack speed ammo capacity and maybe like body damage the matrix is infected search speed maybe health restoration maybe find unique or maybe find elite find weapon chance such things so what you want to focus for for your gloves and for your head is definitely headshot, mutated, attack speed, ammo capacity, and if possible, body damage, surge speed, damage versus infected, any of those stats for the helmet and the head. So for the headpiece and the gloves, sorry. Elite Assault Fast, as you can see, we have 25 incoming damage, 39 inventory capacity, we have some HP and incoming some recovery. Uh, I don't know why at least I think I turned into relic because there was some problem in the code So I don't know this 45 armor absorption durability you will not have There was some issue with that. I don't know how is that possible, but happened Anyways, I should be having here because of the polyethylene plates I should be having 5% armor absorption and 20% armor durability, which is not the case somehow unfortunately So yeah, if you're gonna get the uh, Body piece go for lead the jacket if you don't have armor if you do have armor go for the elite assault vest or if you have enough uh, mobility high enough mobility you can even go for the sn42 which is awesome armor but you want to go for the stats incoming damage hp inventory and incoming stun recovery all right so these are our legs as you can see the stats you want to have triple spin stats and incoming damage if you are a sprinter, if you're a jogger, you go jog speed, incoming damage, HP, inventory. But as you can see, what you want to focus on, the main stats as a sprinter, triple uh, sprint stats, right? Incoming damage, HP if possible, and inventory. Anything else is extra, whatever. Dodge cooldown, walk speed, jog speed, whatever, all right? But you want to focus on these stats, as you can see, okay? And now, get to the boots. We have triple sprint stats, jog speed, dodge cooldown, and footsteps noise radius. Uh, instead of footsteps noise radius would be awesome to have um, walk speed which I do not have unfortunately but for the boots you want to have triple spin stats jog or dodge cooldown and walk speed or footsteps noise radius any of those two is fine so that's for the feet uh, okay and this is the backpack we're using if you're bossing military day pack is the way to go highly advise to get this backpack all right, so I'm gonna go uh, show you now this weapon in action, how it works against the bosses. This is a bossing build. So yeah, uh, let's get it.
Okay, and here, as you have seen, guys, the performance is insane. You can get these pistols to about 700 DPS, which is insane. It's really, really good. So I'm going to show you my full stats now so you can see how it looks like. All right. So as you can see, bang, quite high headshot, quite high attack speed. You can see it right. And also, which I forgot to mention, you don't want maximum accuracy, you want minimum accuracy for the pistols. If you're gonna get, if you don't have a marksman, you can get minimum accuracy on your gloves or a head. Just one of those two getting minimum accuracy is more than enough. All right, so that's the rest of the stats. As you can see, quite high damage versus mutated. Things, all right. You can pause so you have easier time in the stats. But these are definitely the most important here. Attack speed. Headshot, ammo capacity, damage versus mutated, our HP, and incoming damage, and such. Okay, so the I'm gonna talk about some things. The upgrade you want or attachment for your pistol is definitely it's either gonna be XL magazine, because there is really no point because the base is clip uh, clip size is eight. There is no point in getting drum mag because with the drug mag it's two point four extra ammo, which you will not get. If it was 2.5, you'll get three rounds, extra three rounds. But because it's going to be 2.4, there is no point in putting Jam Mag. What you want to do is put XL Magazine, which is 1.6, which will give you extra two rounds. So the issue with this, you want to get high uh, ammo cap with this pistol so you can one clip bosses easily. Also, the tip what i'm gonna do i only have this i only have one pistol so far i'm gonna craft the second pistol and you can do a wallet you can you can do the akimbo with this so uh or how, how it's called anyways i think it's akimbo yeah when you have two pistols you can do a wild them you can have two pistols because this pistol can be statistic and can be your primary weapon so you can have both of them using them using them both which means uh, with uh, reloading and this weapon, you should have 12 uh, ammo in each magazine, which is more than enough to kill any boss. 24 shots. If you hit 24 headshots, of course, you should be able to kill any boss. So you can do all this. So have that in mind. So far, uh, the ammo it's using also is 3.57 magnum, as you see, which is cheap. Usually now it's not because everybody's been using this pistol and crafting it. But you can craft this pistol by um, getting a blueprint during this uh, Easter event getting sorry uh, things from the purple zone and grab them at the workbench and get this um so you, you might try out your luck the rng uh may be on your side may not depends how high the stats are but the uh, highest stats I, I have seen it could go from is 54 mutated 16 incoming uh headshot is uh i think 50 and attack speed is 45 the xp is 45 as well i never seen above 10 movement speed so not sure about that but if you can get this pistol, go get it. It's really good. It's like really, really can't say anything bad about this. It's like awesome, does a lot of damage. And I highly advise you to get one if you didn't yet. So we have come to an end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna leave in the description my Patreon, my Twitch, or some different here. So my socials such as Twitter, Instagram. I'm also gonna leave my Discord if you wanna join us and chat with us sometimes. So yeah, guys, that'll be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this was helpful. Love you all always for supporting and watching and I'll see you in another video of the Frontier Suit. Till next time guys. Peace.